<sighs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I suck at this now. I shouldn't have taken a break. Well, only thing to do now is to get better at it again. Definitely aiming for one minute, not the usual two. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, perfect time to show you the 10 day post show physique. So this is what we're working with right now. There you have it guys, 10 days post show. We're doing good, here's the update. Well you guys, I think we're due for a little bit of a chat. First of all, welcome to this video. This is my full reverse diet video. I stepped on the NPC national stage 10 days ago from today and then six days before that I stepped on stage at the Valley of the Sun uh, Phoenix, Arizona national qualifier. Things that you want to know and I know this because you guys reached out to me over Instagram. I did a whole Q&A about what you guys want to hear and see in this video. Number one, you want to know what I'm eating. You want to know what my calories have been at. You want to know how I've been able to reverse correctly and, and actually stay pretty lean. Um, you wanna know how much weight I have gained and you wanna know a bunch of other little things like how my training is gonna be different, how, how to continue the reverse because ideally your reverse would be longer than one or two weeks. I'm only a week and a half in, so what's my game plan moving forward from this uh, and how to just crush this whole reverse thing because I'm gonna say this, reverse dieting post-show after prepping for five months is harder than the actual prep. Now, don't get me wrong, preps are hard, your energy is drained. I clearly have energy now because I'm talking twice as fast as I have been in my, <laughs> compared to my last videos. Reversing is hard. Uh, you are hungrier, you want to eat everything. You kinda, in a way, you could eat everything. Don't recommend that. But you don't have a show date anymore that you have to be shredded for, and so it can be super hard. But you gotta do it right, and we're gonna talk all about that in this video, so let's go. Okay, so I actually just sent my Monday check-ins to my coach uh, literally like 10 minutes ago. So the cool thing about this video is not only am I going to share with you what I have been doing for the last 10 days, but also I will literally know my game plan um, in this video here in a little bit, what I get to do next. So ideally with reverse, you're going to increase your calories slowly, allow your metabolism to adapt and recover. That's a huge part to this because if you just start eating everything in sight, and unfortunately, this literally happens more often than you think. You will gain so much weight very quickly. It is extremely physically, mentally unhealthy. I have seen such horror stories. Maybe we'll go more into that, but it is a terrible, terrible thing. And I get it, it's extremely hard, but you just have to do it. So I always tell my guys that I coach like, hey, show day is not the finish line. You must keep going. So anyway, with that being said, we are not across the finish line yet. Um, my calories, I'm gonna give you my macros too, but my calories the last like basically 10 days have only been about 2,450 calories, 2,450 calories. Now for someone who's 185 pounds, oh man, that is pretty low. Uh, but my coach wants to be really careful with me and I do think it, it is really low. I personally, if I was coaching myself, I would have put myself a little bit higher. Um, I do think my calories will go up a little bit, but I guess we'll see. But that's been the calories lately and it has not been easy. So we got breakfast right here. This consists of avocado toast, which I am so obsessed with guys. Uh, avocado toast with two whole eggs and some ham and then also a Greek yogurt with some strawberries. This is around like 400, 450 calories. Still pretty low, uh, but yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. I have actually some pretty fun meals planned for the day, so I do have to make room for those. And altogether, I shouldn't complain too much because I still am eating quite a bit more than I was when I was on prep. I mean, even at 2,400 calories, that's still literally 1,000 calories more than I was consuming towards the end of prep when I was on a depletion phase. We're gonna dig in and then we're actually gonna head to the gym here probably in the next hour or so. 
Okay, you guys, we're actually on our way to the gym and I can't tell you everything I'm doing and there's a reason for that because I actually have a huge announcement coming maybe in the next video, I think in the next video, we'll see, but I am working towards some massive, massive new goals. Now, before I say anything else, I'm still bodybuilding, of course, that's what I am, but I'm working towards something crazy in the next like five months and it is going to be absolutely mind blowing and I'm gonna take you along the entire journey. So part of my training has changed and adapted. You can see a few sneak peeks on my Instagram at Brady Oak Fitness, but uh, big things coming. That being said, what I can tell you is today we're gonna hit a gnarly chest and arms day. I'm actually doing more of a moderate volume high intensity of course. I'm kind of just doing what I want to do. I've been following really strict plans for a while and I will get back on a really strict plan, but right now I literally just like created my dream split and that's what I'm doing. So today is chest and arms. Um, I am following some specific programming though and I will tell you more about it, but I'm also really excited to show you my post training meal because I'm getting a lot more creative with my meals at the moment and it's going to be a good one. So wish me luck, we're going to have a good one. You know, it's actually ridiculous how much just meats we have in here. This is all just meats, you guys. That being said, so we're back from the gym. I'm not gonna have just meats right now because I'm making a bowl of some sort. It's gonna have chicken in it. It's gonna have a bunch of other stuff. It's gonna be very high volume and low calorie and high protein and delicious. By the way, guys, the gym session was incredible. Got an epic pump and we had a really good time. So I haven't really like done this before. <laughs> this specific bowl before, but I think these are the things that are gonna go in it. So we're gonna grill up some uh, fresh chicken tenderloins, put some fresh corn on the cob in there, avocado, cucumber, uh, lettuce, cilantro, cilantro lime rice, white mushrooms, tomatoes, tzatziki feta, this is like really like low calorie, but super good. Uh, black beans and then some pickled onions and pickled beets and stuff like that. This with some sort of sauce or dressing on it, but I'm gonna show you the final product. Yo, so this is lunch, super good post-training meal. Uh, macros on this meal, I still have to add a couple of things, so I'm gonna estimate a little bit here, but protein is sitting around uh, 48 grams, carbs is around 70 grams, and then the fat is gonna be around 15 grams, so pretty balanced, I would say and uh, I was sitting around 650 calories or so, so pretty good. This is like my type of meal, you guys, though, like truly on prep, I usually have to eat in a way that I don't actually like eating that much, just simplified things and things that don't cause too much stress or food focus, but outside of prep, I love eating like whole foods based, lots of just healthy stuff, and I can fit a lot more flexibility in that way. Um, so this is like, dude, this is like my type of meal right here, just healthy. I feel healthy, I feel athletic, I feel like this is a perfect post-training meal right here. Let's discuss the questions that you guys asked me on Instagram regarding my reverse diet. What's your diet eating like seven days post-show? So, <laughs> After the show, Maddie and I did go out on a date night. Uh, we did not go on a food tour, which means we did not get, you know, the typical burger, pizza, donut, fries, every, you know, five different places. We went to one restaurant. It was Asian food, but I'm not gonna go into the details because it doesn't even matter. And then we did get a dessert as well. That was it, the very next day we traveled. So it was a travel day. I did my best to stay within a calorie range because I, you know, I was like, I literally was flying for like 12 hours that day from South Carolina all the way back to Arizona. So it was a very long travel day. Things that I did eat is a market salad from Chick-fil-A. I did get a grilled, uh, chicken burger from Chick-fil-A. Those things I was able to track, but overall I was just trying to stick to a calorie goal that day, which I actually did a very good job at. The next five days I was on plan, man. Like I was tracking my macros. I had my, my macro plan from my coach. Um, I did do one refeed day and we went out to a restaurant, another kind of date night situation. And um, yeah, that's been the first week essentially. And after one week, I gained a grand total of one pound, which if I'm being honest, I think that's super low. Um, typically with my athletes, I like to see anywhere between like two to four pounds. If someone gained five pounds in the first week, I don't think that's all that big of a deal because a lot of it's probably just water. I'm more interested if they are in control of themselves and their diet and they're not going crazy. Okay, someone asked, does training change much at all during this phase? To be honest, no. I get that asked uh, a lot actually, like how much my training is gonna change, but I don't see why it really would change. Now, technically I am working towards some other goals, so 
due to that, I am adding in some new things, but that has nothing to do with like the reverse diet at all. Uh, at this point, I'm at a really great place for, to build a lot of muscle. So I'm training hard in the gym. I'm doing things I was doing before. I mean, the, the game continues guys. Now I just have more calories and I'm actually able to build muscle. What's your calories at post show? So like I said, I'm at 2,450 a day. My refeed days are closer to 28, 2850, something like that. I have one refeed day a week right now. And again, that might all change as soon as my coach emails me. So I'll keep posted. Someone asked, are you able to start training normally again right away? So, you know, similar to the other training question, the answer is yes. Uh, you know, I was asked by my coach if he thought I needed a deload. And to be honest, I was so ready to get back into the gym and train hard. You got to remember the last five weeks of prep, maybe even six weeks, I did not enjoy the gym at all. It was very stressful for me knowing that I had to come in and train at a specific intensity uh, using energy that I did not have. It was not enjoyable at all. And so <laughs> I'm so ready to be back in the gym. This past week or two have been just an incredible time in the gym. I feel energized, my recovery is great. I don't need a deload, anything like that. Especially because leading into back-to-back -back shows, I was essentially deloading anyway. So nah, uh, you can hit it hard right away. Maybe take a day off if you really want to. What is the typical time frame of a, re of a reverse and how long does it take to get back to main maintenance calories or main calories? Yeah, so I wouldn't really put a time frame on this and I actually think someone else, yeah, someone else asked this too. What's your sweet spot for a reverse diet length? There's not really a time frame frame here and I don't think it's good to have a time frame because if you say oh I'm gonna reverse for one week well what's gonna happen after one week you're gonna go binge and, and gain all the weight that you shouldn't have gained back in the first place if you say the same thing about two weeks three weeks the same thing's gonna happen now I think it's good to have like three to four weeks in your mind at least and during that time frame a lot's gonna happen number one your hunger uh, hormones are gonna get regulated so even after that time frame hopefully your calories will have boosted up quite a bit your metabolism will have caught up and up regulated again but then most importantly like your satiety and your hunger hormones will also be fixed so your desire to go and eat everything in sight will hopefully just not really be there so then you can go about your life in a healthy way uh, and be normal essentially which is the main goal is just to be normal but getting back to normal takes time i would not reverse for only one week that's ridiculous um, and it's just postponing the inevitable terrible binging for a week <laughs> it's not gonna help much as far as how long it'll take to get your calories back up to where they were in the off season well keep in mind you know you prep you might have lost 20 30 40 pounds who knows 30 pound lighter version of you does not need as many calories and so you probably won't get back up to that same amount of calories unless you were to gain 30 pounds. Now, the question is, do you want to gain 30 pounds? And do you want to gain 30 pounds really fast post-show? The answer is probably not. The good news is you don't even need that, that many calories to begin with. So for instance, my off-season calories topped off at about 3,700-ish and I'm at 24 right now. I don't need 3,700 calories every single day to be happy right now though. So even if I were to get back up to close to 3,000 here in the coming weeks, that would be plenty for me. Um, that would definitely relieve a lot of my hunger and my stress and I would just feel great all the time. But that's still, you know, 700 plus calories lower than I was in my peak off season. Altogether though, I wouldn't worry about it. It'll happen when it happens. Okay, you guys, it is just about 4 p.m. And just like that, the email came in from my coach. Good news, you guys, I get more calories on my plan so you actually increased my calories by uh what like 250 ish so i'm now sitting at just shy of 2700 calories per day and also my refeed calories bumped up to to 3100 which huge sense of relief if i'm being honest because i have been really hungry and just those numbers right there like 2700 3100 those are numbers where i know that i'm good like i can <laughs> I can comfortably survive and thrive on those numbers and they probably still with time, maybe not next week, but with time they'll keep going up. I am actually really excited to show you our dinner we're having tonight. It is one of my favorite dinners. I had it one time roughly like four or five weeks out, probably five weeks out from my first show and it's just so good. But. It is really high fat, so after having it that first time, I pretty much wasn't able to have it again, and I've just been waiting. And so we had it a few days ago, and it was awesome, and we're having it again tonight. I'm gonna show you uh, here in the next few hours what that is, because it's something that you can have too. And if you have normal macros, like you can fit it. It's really not that bad, but uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, you guys, this is it. My favorite dinner of all time. The Hawaiian shredded pork from Just Meats, which you can use code OAK to save like 20 bucks on. If you're watching this really soon, Soon. They might still have the Memorial Day going on, so try B Oki 35 off for $35 off. But anyway, this is amazing, guys. Check this out. So, we do the Hawaiian pork 
slider buns with the shredded Hawaiian pork and a little bit of barbecue sauce and pineapple and then they made a nice salad. Absolutely amazing. Now, like I said, it, the macros really aren't that bad. It is 30 fat for the whole thing. That's literally like for two full servings. So I have two full servings. You don't have to do two full servings. 30 fat, 60 protein, and it is incredible. I'm so glad I can fit this into my macros now. Well, the day is wrapping up, you guys. It's now 7 p.m. and time for my dessert, which is usually a creamy. So I've been making just BPN strawberry creamies the last couple of nights, and they're really good, low calorie. Just add fruit to it. It's great. But I want to end with something somewhat of an announcement, half an announcement. I've been teasing that I'm going to be working towards something new now. I finished my bodybuilding season, but the show must go on. We must always work towards something hard, challenge our minds, do something that gets you out of your comfort zone. And so although I am definitely going to continue my bodybuilding journey and get better, I am also gonna be working towards something else. So with that being said, probably the next video, I'm going to make that announcement. And what's really exciting about right now is I actually just officially booked it. So can't show you everything, but it is booked. It is happening. Deposit has been paid and I cannot wait for this challenge. It is so me. It is so up my alley, but it is also so for you guys, it's gonna sound so different um, because well, quite honestly, you guys don't know me as well as, as everyone else knows me as I know myself, but um, okay, I got Maddie here. What do you think, uh, without, without giving it away, babe, what do you think about this new challenge I'm gonna do? I think it's super cool and super unexpected. I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised and it's pretty insane. I had some issues with it at first because it is so extreme and insane in such a short period of time. But if anyone can do it, it's you. So I'm excited Woo. for you to have <laughs> your next challenge. It's gonna be a good one. And it's not just one challenge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. It is like one main challenge, but I'm doing several other challenges alongside with it and that kind of build up into the main challenge. So it is gonna be super exciting and super fun to watch. And that's that, you guys. So stay tuned, make sure to check out the next video. Thanks for watching, like this video, all that good stuff, especially if you've been following my prep series this far. Uh, it is crazy that we're going straight from prep, straight into this new challenge, but you're gonna enjoy this one for sure and get a lot of entertainment and value from it. Quick side note, <laughs> look at my legs right now. I think we're still a little lean. And on that note, we'll see you in the next one, peace out.